change in freeway exit ramps. But recently, there's been this guy with an interesting sign at I-71 and Hudson Street. His handwritten sign says he has the God-given gift of a great voice. Hey, we're going to make you work for your dollars. Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after these words. <laughs> and don't forget, tomorrow morning is your chance to win a pair of tickets to see this man live in concert. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, when I was 14 years old, I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. When I was 14, I kind of listened to one of our area radio announcers. And uh, I went as a field trip to go meet the guy, and he looked nothing like what he sounds like. So I asked him about that, and he said to me, listen, radio is defined theater of mind. And so when he said theater of mind, I just said, well, hey, I can't be an actor. I can't be an on-air personality, but... The voice just became something of, uh, of a development over years, and I went to school for it. And then alcohol and drugs and a few other things became a part of my life. And I got two years clean, and I'm trying hard to get it back, and hopefully somebody from one of these television or radio says, hey, I need a voiceover, or I, I need something. So, you know, I'm hoping one day, watch Family Guy, weeknight at 7.30 on Fox 28. And